All right, guys. So we are going to question one, part B of the 2022 um, Cape Unit 2 past paper. Now, this question is a Kirchhoff uh, question or circuit analysis type of question, right? Where we have different uh, resistors in series and in parallel, etc. Now, the, based on this question, the initial part of it is really asking us to uh, determine the current uh, IL that is flowing through the variable resistor. So, if you observe the circuit here, you're seeing quite a different uh, values resistors. Um, then this one is what we call consider to be a variable resistor. As you can imagine. Uh, IL is flowing downwards or from the junction here, yeah, flowing downwards through uh, this variable resistor. And it went to the extent to tell us that the variable resistor had a value of, um, or, ha or has a value of 30 ohms. So that's very valuable to us because we're going to need that. Now, there are different ways we approach these questions, guys. And I mean, my way is to just simply do it from a more, I would say, a simplified version for me, per se. And that just surrounds the whole uh, aspects of um, Kirchhoff's voltage laws and Kirchhoff's uh, current law. Or in some cases, we say Kirchhoff's first law or Kirchhoff's um, second law okay now first and foremost we must always state kirchhoff's uh, current law or the the first law and that would in a sense state to us that the sum of the current sum of the current entering a junction sum of the current entering a junction must be equal to right must be equal to the sum of the current leaving the junction right in this case I1, I chose where I1 is flowing, and you can do that, all right? But from the mere fact we look at the circuit, yeah, we see that, uh, you know, current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal, so you could just assume that the current is flowing in that direction, all right? Now, I know some persons uh, work these types of questions from a voltage lift to a voltage drop standpoint, etc., um, but... Uh, not for me. I, I don't do it that way. Okay. Um, but at the end of the day, same results that we get. Okay. Um, so yes, I identify where my I1 is flowing. So it's flowing into the junction. So this is the sum of the current. So in a sense, I1 is the total current. Yes. And then when you look at the branch here, you would see, or the junction rather, if you want to look at it that way, my current is going in different directions now so one is going downwards like this okay and there is one that is going to our tool resistor now bear in mind that you could have chosen it to go in a different direction etc all right it up to it, it it's based on what you want to choose as, as a preference okay now another thing that you would need to do is to identify the loops that you can easily see in the circuit right now there are three loops that can be in the circuit. But for this question, I just need two loops. So what I did, I chose this as my loop. Now, in this loop, I chose that my current is flowing um, clockwise. And also for the uh, loop B, I chose that the current is flowing uh, clockwise as well. This direction where I assume that my current is flowing will have an implication um, on the I l current because they're going in opposite direction so i would have to make a adjustment by using a minus sign to factor out the change of the direction of the current basically which is quite simple but anyways so but let's look at loop a now so using Kirchhoff's voltage law some of the emf right in a complete loop or one loop is equal to the sum of the voltage drop across each of the components so because i only have one emf in the circuit here i just write about that which is my nine volts and then i start off with my r1 uh resistor now the same current that is here i1 is the same one that will be flowing through r1 yes and so i have five i1 
plus 30 I L. So this is supposed to be I L by the way. Sorry. That's supposed to be I L. So, um, and, and the thing is because the current is kind of flowing in the same direction in this, uh, branch, right? Then I simply add them. Now my last resistor here is the 2.4 resistor. Now the current that will be flowing through this uh, resistor will still be my I1 um, current. Okay, so I would just go ahead and just write back uh, the 2.5 times I1. Now just to just simplify that, I would be left with uh, uh, 7.5 I1 plus uh, 30 I L. Okay, now that completes that part of this first part of the we're going to continue this this question because it takes a bit of time to kind of and the value is actually 10 marks so it's supposed to actually take about 10 minutes to solve the problem so let's see if we can do it in that timing guys okay